What's up everybody? Mike McIntyre here back from all things sports. I'm so happy that you're here today watching this video. I'm glad you came along. This is a review, unboxing, on feed, the usual deal. I'm happy you're back. I hope you're here to enjoy. Let's get into this unboxing video. In front of me, I have a pair of MIJ Mizunos. I have been waiting for these for a very, very long time. These boots have been out for a while, but I've never been able to get a pair, and I finally took the plunge. These are my boots. I can't wait to wear them. These will be for my upcoming season. I bought myself a pair of Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s, and these things just look absolutely sick. They're the MIJ versions, made in Japan. For those of you that don't know, these are the premium, luxury, ultimate comfort boots that you could possibly get. If you're looking for something that has the best leather on the market, you have to get a pair of the Mizuno MIJ. I'm one of the few that have been able to review a Mizuno boot for YouTube, so I'm so happy you're all here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot of great content for you. You know you want to be a part of this All Things Sports channel. First things first, MIJ made in Japan. It's gold with the Mizuno logo there on a black box. We're going to get inside the box and there are a little bit of sort of extras in here. You have a Mizuno care instruction. Now this is very, very basic. It just basically says that Mizuno shoes are not suitable for machine washing, blah, blah, blah. I don't know who would machine wash a pair of boots anyways. You also get this little package here. It comes in a nice little uh, string bag, I guess if you want to call it that. It is a leather cleaner essentially. So they give you this nice sort of felt feeling leather cloth and you also get the cleaning product itself. So it's basically like a little leather protection cleaning product that you can put on the shoes. It's called shoe cream. You do also get a string bag right here. It's black with gold branding made in Japan, Mizuno logo. Here we go guys. MIJ Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s. Bam. Boom. There is a quick look at the Mizuno Morelio Neo 2s. Now Mizuno is a Japanese company if you did not know. They are a expert craftsman and they take pride in really releasing the ultimate quality product. They don't care how long it'll take. They don't care how many you know, products they push out, they don't care their quantity, they just simply care about quality. And so the MIJ version of their boots just is the ultimate premium when it comes to a pair of football boots. So their specialty is of course their leather craftsmanship. So they do make this boot in a non-MIJ version. You can get a regular Mizuno uh, Morelia Neo. There's a branding on the back of Mizuno Morelia Neo. This boot actually, the MIJ versions of the Mizuno football boots, they will sit on the sort of molded last that they use to create the shape of the boot itself. It will sit on that last for a full 24 hours. According to most reports, the average soccer cleat will sit on the last for about 20 minutes. This thing sits on for 24 hours, so they really take pride in sort of molding the boot to the ultimate shape. They really want this to be as comfortable as it can possibly be. And of course, they do take pride in how durable the boot is as well. Just by feeling this for the first time, it is absolutely unbelievable how soft and plush this leather is. I've never really felt anything like it. The Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s are the Mizuno Speed Boot, if you will. They don't use leather throughout the entire boot. They just use it in the forefoot. For, so from this seam right here to the seam on the inside, this is fairly common of most boots. The forefoot is a premium leather material, kangaroo leather. The back part of the boot is essentially a sort of synthetic leather material that they use. They do coat it with a thin layer of leather on top, so this does feel quite soft. But again, the entire mold of this is a little bit more durable. It's made out of a synthetic base and again the kangaroo leather is only in the forefoot. The tongue is a nice synthetic material and the suede liner is just it's unbelievable. I've never felt anything this soft either. They sort of pad around the Achilles and then I really like how this piece right here comes up just a little bit higher. That hugs your tendon extremely nice and it really just keeps you locked down. It gives you an ultimate fit and they feel very, very good when first trying them on. This colorway did come out a little while ago. Mizuno don't typically release that many colors. They're not like Nike. They're not like Adidas. They'll only release a new color every now and then every few months. This one came out at the beginning of 2018 and I managed to get an unbelievable deal that I probably will never get again. The boot is made in Japan, hence the MIJ version. It does say made in Japan on the tongue right there. Mizuno professional model. And they do 
do take pride in stating that this boot is the exact same boot that they would give their contracted athletes. So people like Hulk, players like uh, Honda that are sponsored by Mizuno, this is the exact same version that those athletes would receive. You do have a very similar sole plate to something that Adidas are making. It's kind of like a sprint frame in the sense that you have you know, this one piece construction on the bottom with an external heel counter here, four studs in the back, four on both the medial and lateral sides of the shoe itself, one pivot stud in the middle. They are all conical and uh, it's just gonna allow you to pivot on any sort of natural surface. And uh, that's something that I think will work very, very well. I do like the way the sole plate looks. It does have a very wide looking tongue when you see that when I put these on a little bit later, it does look like the boot is very, very tight, but that's in part because they don't make the side of the boot come up very high. In some boots they really wrap and the side extension pieces here will come all the way to the middle. This time they just end here, so it makes the tongue look a lot wider. They do also create a very unique lacing design here. They have this zigzag lacing pattern, so it's supposed to help you with lockdown and keeping the laces tight. This is a very significant sock liner. It's not super thick or anything, but they do take the time to mold it to the exact shape of the boot. So you do have a cutout where the arch would be and it does sort of shape to the foot a little bit more. The Adidas boots and Nike boots, their insoles tend to be extremely flat, just a very simple layer of foam. And then they've coated it with this sort of grippy material on the top. And this is actually quite rough to, to the touch. It doesn't feel like like it's cheap or anything at all. It just feels like a very grippy material. It's almost as if they've taken this abrasive stuff and sort of sprayed it on top of the insole itself to create this extremely abrasive feeling, um, I guess, grippy insole so that your sock grips this and they won't slip anywhere. So that's a very, very unique touch. So that's pretty much it, guys, for my unboxing and review video. I'm gonna slip them on feet so that we can really talk about how these things fit and feel. There are not too many videos out there on a pair of Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s, and certainly ones that have come out in the last little while. I think this might be one of the newest and latest pair of Mizuno boots to be featured on YouTube. So if you are interested in picking up a pair for yourself, stay tuned. I'm really gonna talk about how these things fit. And if you are interested in a pair for yourselves, we'll talk about sizing as well. As I slip these guys on, these are phenomenal. I really really can't tell you how comfortable these are from right out of the box. I will admit, from right out of the box, they're not as comfortable as some of the other boots I've tried on. I think one of the most comfortable I've ever tried on were the Puma Evo Power Vigors and the new Adidas Predator 18 Plus. Just because the material they use, that synthetic, is so incredibly soft from right out of the box that it doesn't really take any time to break in. With a pair of leather boots like this that are really crafted to sort of create the ultimate premium leather feel, these will take a little bit of time to break in. I don't think it'll be long, but I think they will take a little bit of time to break in just because the leather is so brand new and so crafted and so premium that it will take a little bit of time just to mold to the shape of your foot exactly. Once it does that, I have no doubt that these will be probably one of the most comfortable boots I have ever put on my feet. In terms of size, they are a tighter fitting shoe, which is quite good. I'm excited about that because I do like a modern boot. I like boots to fit quite tight and snug and give me the, all the performance benefits and responsiveness that I'm looking for, but I also want something that's extremely comfortable. So sort of getting the best of both worlds is something that is quite difficult to come by. So these do fit quite tight, but I would strongly suggest going true to size. And the reason for that is because the leather is going to stretch. These are a premium kangaroo leather. So premium kangaroo leather will stretch with time. So if you go true to size, they might feel a bit tight at the beginning, but once you break them in, they're gonna fit like a glove. So again, they might look tight on feet and they might look like my foot's too big for them, particularly in terms of width. Again, that is simply because the tongue is quite wide and the side pieces don't come up as high as on some other boots. If you're looking for a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size. They are a tighter fitting shoe, be aware of that, but the leather is going to stretch. So I think you should go true to size. I've gone true to size in my pair right here, something that I would go with in an Adidas, for example, that's the size you should get. Before you do use them, I would strongly recommend using the leather cleaner that they give you just to sort of touch up the boots and give them that sort of durability, that extra level of durability that you might want from them just given that these are a premium leather. That is my review and unboxing and on feet of the Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s. I'm one of the more recent videos talking about these boots on YouTube at the moment. So I'm really, really excited to get these out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you guys very, very much for watching. Enjoy your day. This was fantastic. Thank you for coming by. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. I'm signing off for now. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Take care.